This is King William's March by Jeremiah Clark, and we're just going to get right into this quick lesson on how you can play King William's March on your cello. With all Baroque music, you must understand that the technology was different at the time. Not only were the bows different, but also the strings and many other different things. Now I hold the cello in a Baroque style without the end pen in, but you don't have to do that. But one thing you should do is do a separation, a detaché, with all of the quarter notes. Even though it's not marked, it's a way of playing the notes. You put a little bit of a taper at the beginning and end of each note. It's a slight pressure off with the wrist. <laughs> You can keep the bow within contact of the string, but you must stop it just for a slight moment in order to produce the detaché. Continuing on with a bit of these notations, let's look at the fourth measure, and you see a comma, a apostrophe, a virgule, and this means to take a breath. Now when you imagine your bow, imagine it as lungs, so this is you breathing out, Breathing in, breathing out. So when you do this, you lift your bow and replace back to the frog, starting at the end of measure four. It's an A. Lift. So that is how it's done. Let's continue forward to measure 20. Here we have the moldan, which I explain in this video at the top right of your screen. So when you play that, you have that lift. Lift and go back here to your frog. The last part of the bowing I would like to discuss is in measure 27. That grace note, beginning of measure 27, all the notes in the same bow stroke. And that is how you play it. Now let's zoom in and take a look at these fingerings. In the first part and second part is in the first position. I will play most of it for you with no repeats, yet I will give you some advice on playing the moldant in measure eight and also 16. The most difficult one is in measure 20, so let's take a look at that. <laughs> In measure 20, you play one, two, one, two, B, C, B, C, shifting up to the upper second position. If you are unfamiliar with this position, there is a card in the top right of your screen. Review that and then return to this video. You are on the second finger on the D and then drop your four on the E natural, two, then shift back to C natural, one, zero, four. That is how you play that. I will start right there in measure 20. Look at the beginning of 24. We have another moldan, which means a 0, 1, 0, a quick succession, starting at measure 23. 23, I actually keep my fourth finger down. So don't try to hop your fingers up and down. It's good technique to remain your fingers on the string, especially if you're doing string crossings. Moving ahead to 27. Not only do we have a grace notes, but another moldon and then a lift of the bow. To help you understand how this piece is, and without explaining all the, of the fingerings individually, I will play from measure 9 to measure 32. Follow along on your part.
Thank you for watching my video today on how to play King William's March by Jeremiah Clark on your cello. If you learned something, leave a like and consider subscribing. This is something I do all of the time. And if you know someone who really enjoys Baroque music, please share this video with them. I would appreciate it. Before you leave, here is some more content on the channel that you might find interesting. And I hope you do consider staying here and learning a little bit more with us as you continue on your journey of music discovery. You know, playing without an end pin is a new thing, but it's pretty cool to do. You don't have to do that. I just do it just to be different and cool. <laughs>